I, I think I'm on like my fifth video now. Let's see, one, two, three, at least, yeah, this might be my fifth video. But they all been relatively short, at least under five minutes. I, I was playing my guitar, guitar and a couple of them, getting ready for that show. But, uh, so in the summer, summer, uh, so in June 2013, I was on the lawn board. It's an Arbor Pentail. Uh, I have an Arbor Pentail that I was on. I was going down a hill, but I was sitting on top of a hill actually. So I'm sitting on top of a hill on the lawn board, and I put both of my feet on top of the lawn board, and the board goes down by itself. So I was I don't know how to stop myself at this time. Like I wasn't expecting to go down the hill, which I was laughing the whole entire time going down this hill. It was a, it was so much fun going down this hill, but as I'm going down. I'm laying back because you know the board's starting to get wobbly once you get speeds and you're not when you know if you're standing on the board it's different standing on the board is different so I go down here I'm gonna move my camera down a little bit there we go so I go down I'm on my lawn board usually I'm on you know I'm going down on my back like this my leg this is the knee that I hurt this knee goes all the way back like this I'm going straight down the hill with my leg extended back where my knee it completely tore this MCL right here is completely torn in half it's completely torn um, I have fat pad infringement done on here I have, I have a few scars I don't know if the camera is going to pick up there's one little dark scar this is where they did here and here's the camera went in and on the other side the scar you can barely see but Oh my god, I didn't get that surgery until like three or four months after I'd actually injured myself, so I kept longboarding. <laughs> like, because it just, they told me it was a sprain. I never had any pain pills. This is the most pain I've ever felt, you know, like, you know, but I was on crutches the whole summer. Like, I couldn't walk. And now, it's, now, now it's March. So, so from June to March, however many months that's been, I think nine, um, I'm still not healed from my freak accident, freak longboard accident. I, like, I went longboarding, right? Like, but the problem is, like, my left foot is, like, it's not healed yet. Is that my foot, like, my leg, which is, my leg is smaller than it used to be, but it is. Like I had, it's hard, it's really hard to get the muscles back in your leg, especially after not using it. But my left leg is my kick leg, this is my main leg, like this is my dominant leg, so it's been extra, like I can't even make it up the stairs, like too many stairs, like just feels like someone takes a sledgehammer to this side and this side, and there's just a needle, like, okay, we got a little scar right there. <laughs> That's from a different longboard and scrape. That's when I was learning how to slide. I learned how to slide. That was post surgery though. I went longboarding after the surgery too. He said I could walk out of there. I did. No, I got I got wheelchaired out. Then I walked. I went anyway. <laughs> I went to the. I went. I went all after surgery to the uh, to Meyer, our grocery store. On the, on the buggies, which I have to use anyways, because I can't walk that far in the grocery store. But I was all, you know, post-surgery, so I was knocking shit over. <laughs> but, or stuff over, my bad. That's bad language to use. But, uh, my knee has a lot, still a lot to go, because cortisone shots aren't working. I may have to get fat injected into my knee to act as a lubricant. Let's hope I don't have to do that. Um, but my whole foot, like, from, okay, from my foot, because when, when I went back, my knee, my leg was back, but my foot was straight all the way like this, so, um, this foot bent like a dog leg backwards, so it was all the way around, it was kind of hard to do, but the bottom of my foot, like, going like this is half numb, going like this, I can barely feel, it feels like pens and needles is very uncomfortable and like like squeezing my foot like 
it either needs to be like nothing touching it, which is why I have, you know, like from here, so slightly, like, we'll say four inches above my knee and down is just crazy, crazy sensations. Above my knee, it tapers off, but I'm having back pain, so I think I may have injured my back in this injury too. And maybe that's why my knee's not better or something. But I, I'm feeling kind of stuck too, cause I wanna go, I wanna go run like, you know, this is just a 5K shirt, but I wanna be able to run. I wanna, I wanna be able to walk. I can't walk without a pimp walk, and, you know. I wanna ride my bicycle. I love riding my bicycle. Remember that bike I bought when I quit my job? I put thousands of miles on that bike. Thousands of miles on that bike I bought and I quit my job. I still had the bicycle. It's a great bike. But I want to put it to more use. So, to that, here I go. Bye.